Hello, my friends. So today I have an important question for you. What is our spiritual theme? I know we haven't been talking about it a lot lately, but think about it. What is our spiritual theme, theme for this year? Let me hear. Here, speak to me. Yes, someone said it. Every tribe, every tongue, and every nation. So today we're going to take a look at that and explore that a little more because today we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is Spanish for the 5th of May and that is a day where we recognize a great victory when the Mexicans fought the French and they fought a very brave battle and won. And it's kind of funny because I learned that more people in the U.S. actually celebrate Cinco de Mayo than people in Mexico. But here in the U.S., if you are a Mexican-American, you'll often celebrate this day because it's really just a day to focus on the culture and the heritage of Mexico. So we're going to take a look at Mexican folk art and make some Mexican mirrors. So pretty, right? All right, so let's take a look at where Mexico is on the map. It is below or south of the United States. When you look at this picture, what's something you really notice? I wonder if the word color popped in your mind, because it certainly did mine. When you go to a Mexican market, you'll see something like this, a vast display of colorful objects that you could purchase. If you went to a fancy dance or celebration, you might wear something like this if you were the girls. Pretty fun and colorful, huh? So I said earlier we are going to create some Mexican mirrors. Here is one you could possibly purchase in a Mexican market. See the punched out designs around the edges? This type of art is called ojalata, which is the Spanish word for tin. Let's take a look at some more styles of Mexican mirrors. Those are some pretty fun mirrors, right? So what we are going to do in a moment is start to make our own, which I'm so excited about. But before we start, we want to go over a new art term that we haven't done yet. It's called the radial, say it? Yes, radial symmetry. Radial just is a fancy word that means from the center it goes out. And symmetry just means the same. So if you look at the center of my mirror, and as I turn it and go out all the way around, my design, no matter how I turn it or how I look at it, it's the same. So it's radial symmetry. Radial symmetry. All right, you got it. So let's get to work. So before we begin our actual mirror project, I want us to practice some Southwestern patterns. That's just the type of patterns that are used more in the Southwest where Mexico is and different states like Texas and New Mexico that we have in our own country. You'll want to think about our zigzag mountain pattern that you might have seen in the uh, examples already shown and you could fill these on in or leave them blank up to you. You could also use diamonds. Diamonds are just kind of like squished squares, right? So you could fill in some diamond shapes. I want you to think about filling up the whole page with different shapes like I've done right here. And then continue on in the video and get ready to make our Mexican mirror. What you are going to need for this lesson is four different size circles, the largest fitting on the whole paper as best you can, different colored markers, a pair of scissors, and some tin foil. Try to get the heavy duty tin foil. You'll then use your smallest tracer to trace a circle on the tin foil. Once it's traced, you are then going to cut it out. Then we're going to make some designs on it. Just take a pencil and you're going to divide it into fourths. 
So you can see here, I drew it into fourths or divided it into fourths, and then I can start doing whatever design I want to into each fourth. Now, because it's radial, it's going to be the same in each part as if it's coming out from the center, the same exact design going out. So in each quarter, you wanna do the same design. So you can decide whatever that's going to be and then work on that. Whatever indent you do on this side, notice when you flip it, going to be kind of popping out on that side. This process is called repose and just we're pushing it out. It is helpful to have a slightly thicker paper that you can push into but not super thick so that it doesn't create a hole in your tin foil. So just do that as you go around and this is going to become the center of your radial design Mexican mirror. Here is one I did that is all finished and now to take my largest circle tracer and fit it onto my paper as best I can, trace around it, and then do more concentric circles inside. Once you have your large circle cut out completely, then you're going to take your smaller circle tracers and trace around there so you have them. You'll notice that I have a little disconnect there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker and go around and make these lines a little thicker and more intentional looking. So I'm going to do that and then share the next step. Now take a glue stick and glue the first side where you push down on your mirror onto your paper. All right, it's so pretty here. Nice and reflective like a good mirror is. All right, so now we're gonna start our different patterns. So you can think about what type of patterns do you have? Do you like zigzag patterns, mountain patterns? So this is where you'll go ahead and put your southwestern patterns around the entire circle. Remember to use radial symmetry. The next part of this video is just a sped up version of me doing just that. So you can feel free to watch it or skip to the end. Have fun making your own Mexican mirror. Wow, you guys did such a great job, and I can't wait to actually see your design. So I hope you all enjoyed making your very own Mexican mirror, and you get to hang it up on your art, your wall, I mean, art, hang it up on your art, that's weird. Hang it up on your fridge or your wall in your bedroom, and I can't wait to see a picture. So snap a picture, send it my way, and I can't wait to see it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And happy Cinco de Mayo.